magic, magic in a box. Who gets excited about carrots? Then there were carrots and peas. Still not doing it for me. Then let's give it a big kick in the pants and do this great sort of Moroccan twist to it with something called a labna, some duca on top, and we'll really make carrots rise to the top of the food chain. Let's see if we can do that today. What is labna? Labna is simply taking Greek yogurt, a 500 gram tub of Greek yogurt, and wrapping it in cheesecloth and putting it in a strainer. That is gonna strain overnight. A good 24 hours is better because it will reduce. What it does is it takes all the liquid or the whey out of the yogurt. So there's nothing left. And what you're left with is basically yogurt cheese. All that came out of the 500 gram tub and I'm going to undo the cheesecloth. I have this lovely little ball of yogurt cheese. Look at that. It's going in a bowl. Carrots, not my favorite thing, but they sure are now. If you can, get the rainbow carrots. They're, you can find them, they are everywhere. Now you're gonna cut them down so that they're evenly sized. I've got a tray here, just lined with parchment, and, and there's no reason for that other than making the cleanup easy, and everybody likes a good, easy cleanup. A good drizzle of olive oil on the carrots, and then a nice little handful of coarse salt all over the top. That is gonna go into a 400 degree oven for 40 minutes. I'm gonna say 40, okay? While that's in the oven cooking, we are going to make the base. So that has no flavor. It's up to me to make it come alive with excitement and lots of guts. This is a great little cheat. So if you're ever looking to liven things up in your world, magic, magic in a box, classic Boursin. They do make about seven different varieties. So make sure you grab the original. And we're just gonna drop that in. And then into this mixture, Parmesan cheese, our classic, 2.0 chili, if you like it spicier, lemon juice and lemon zest. I'm not gonna put salt because you saw how generously I salted the carrots. So I don't think that this needs to be salty, but you can give it a taste and see what you think. Definitely needs a little salt. Now we want a very pretty dish that makes this dish sort of pop. So we'll just bring that out. And they're nicely, beautifully roasted. Look at that. I'm going to take all of this and just do a great, lovely smear down the middle of this tray. Our beautiful carrots. And you're gonna take these and scatter them all over like that. You can see why I prefer having the color. Orange wouldn't be quite as zaza zoom, which is what we're looking for. Then to take it one step further, we're gonna kinda do a little bit of a duca. And duca is that Egyptian spice with hazelnuts and thyme and cumin and sesame. So we're gonna sort of do a, a shortcut version. Toasted hazelnuts. You could use pistachios, you could use hazelnut and pistachios, doesn't matter. In. Fresh thyme leaves, a little bit of cumin in, and then we're gonna add black and white sesame seeds. And this is that really classic duca. All over, just like that. Just to give it a little North America finish. Got some bourbon aged maple syrup. And I'm just gonna do this. Then I carefully picked little tiny leaves of mint. Just sprinkle that all over the top. And that, my friends, would be taking carrots to the next level. If you're a carrot disliker, this will change your mind forever. So 
colored carrots, orange carrots, doesn't matter. It's the base, the labna that makes it, and that little bit of duca on top. And don't forget that sort of splash of bourbon maple syrup. This is a keeper.